everyone and welcome to another Shelf Stuff at Home video. I'm Sam from Team Shelf Stuff and I'm so excited to be here. Today I want to talk about a super fun topic. It's books based on your horoscope. So what I'm going to do is um, go through the astrological signs and pick a book for each. And I think it's super fun because I love horoscopes so much. I have probably too much look at them, but I'm really excited to do it based on books. Okay, so first up we have Aries. So for Aries, I picked the book Lightfall by Tim Probert. Really love this book. It's a graphic novel. It's about two unlikely friends, Bee and Cad, who are on an epic quest to save their home planet of Urfa. Bee is the granddaughter of the pig wizard, and Cad is a member of the Galdorians, which is a long extinct race. In order to save their planet, they have to come together and figure out what happened to Bee's grandfather. I picked this book for Aries because the two friends have to embark on an epic quest and Aries are typically known as being eager and ambitious. So those are two things that you really need in order to save the world. Next up we have Taurus, which is actually what I am. So this one's really near and dear to my heart. So for Taurus, I picked the book A Whale of the Wild by Roseanne Perry, illustrated by Lindsay Moore. This book is about Vega, who is a young orca whale who is preparing to become her family's matriarch. One day during a huge earthquake, her and her brother are separated from their family. It's really scary because they know they need to get back in order to survive and be with their family again. And along the way, Vega has to lead her younger brother through very scary things like shark attacks and polluted water and just so many obstacles. I picked this book for Taurus because Taurians are known for being strong and dependable. Vega really has to rely on those skills and be super strong in order to get her and her brother back to their family. Okay, so next up we have Gemini. So for Gemini, the book I picked is The Girl and the Ghost by Hannah Alcock. This book is about Soraya. Soraya's witch grandmother gives her a palisade, which is a ghostly companion that she names Pink. Soraya and Pink are inseparable, but what Soraya doesn't know is Pink also has a dark side. So the two of them need to come together to overcome that darkness and drive towards lightness. So I really picked this book for Gemini because Gemini is known for being the twin sign. So because they're so inseparable, both Pink and Soraya, I thought that this would be great because they have to learn how to come together and overcome everything. Next, we have Cancer. So for Cancer, the book I picked is The Secret Life of Sam by Kim Ventrella. This book is about a boy named Sam who loses his father in a tragic car accident. After his father passes away, Sam has to go live with his long lost aunt. When he's staying with his aunt, he finds a portal which acts as a passageway where he can go visit his old life but for only minutes at a time, so he can see his father and other things about their old life together. Even though this seems like a gift at first, things aren't always as they seem. I picked this book for Cancers because Cancers are known for being sentimental and compassionate. I really think that this book will tug at their heartstrings in all the right ways. Next up, we have Leo. So for Leos, I picked the book Don't Turn Out the Lights, edited by Jonathan Mayberry. So this book is a collection of 35 scary stories from some of the best horror writers. These books are perfect for reading under the covers with a flashlight, but if you're like some people and don't like to be scared too much, you can also read it in the lights during the daytime when you're less likely to get creeped out. Leos are really the perfect reader for this book. They're known for being fiery and self-assured, so I don't think that they'll scare too easily and will really enjoy these stories. Next on to Virgo. So for Virgos, I picked A Thousand Questions by Sadia Faruqi. A Thousand Questions is about two girls and how their worlds come together. The first girl is Mimi, who is spending the summer in Pakistan with grandparents she's never met. She's also secretly looking for her long absent father. Sakina is the cook's daughter and she has a secret too. She hasn't told her parents that in order to get into school, she'll need to improve her English test scores. Both of these girls are hiding a secret, but they learn that they have a lot in common and they can come together and help each other. This book is great for Virgos. Virgos are known for being really good at hiding their emotions, and because both girls have a secret, they are really good at that too. The next time we have is Libra. So for Libra, I picked Super Good Baking for Kids by Duff Goldman. This book is a book full of recipes by celebrity chef Duff Goldman. It's also full of tons of baking tips, so if you're really new to baking, you don't need to worry, you'll learn lots of techniques along the way, but there's just so many recipes and fun ideas for the yummiest treats you'd ever think of. 
Um, I love this. I love baking. It's so fun. This book is great for Libras. Libras are all about balance and in baking you kind of have to be that way too. You have to be really good about following recipes and doing the proper measurements if you want your treats to come out as yummy as the recipes say. The next book recommendation is for Scorpios. For Scorpios I picked Turning Point by Paula Chase. Turning Point is about two best friends, Rashida and Monique. Rashida and Monique consider themselves to be good girls. For Sheeta, this means keeping her friends close and following her deeply religious aunt's strict rules. For Mo, this means not making waves at her mostly white ballet intensive that she has just been accepted to. They both have to face challenges and stand up for themselves and not back down. Turning Point is a great book for Scorpios because they're known to be brave just like Sheeta and Mo are. Next, moving on to Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, I have The Alien Adventures of Finn Caspian by Jonathan Messenger, illustrated by Aleski Biskoff. For this one, I have sort of a two for one situation because both books one and two are coming out at the same time. The first book is The Fuzzy Apocalypse and the second book is The Accidental Volcano. This book is about Finn Caspian, who is the first boy born in space. When Finn and his friends end up on a planet that's about to explode, they need to figure out how to stop it in order to save themselves and the planet. This book series is based on the podcast the Alien Adventures of Finn Caspian. So it's really great because you can both read the books and listen to the podcast and it's just so much fun. This book is perfect for Sagittarians because they'll love how funny and exciting this book is. Next, on to Capricorn. So for Capricorns, I picked Joe by Kathleen Griss. This book is a modern day graphic novel adaptation of Little Women, which is so fun. This book follows Jo as she starts eighth grade and decides to get really serious about her writing and join the school newspaper. But it's not as easy as she thought it would be. Meanwhile, lots of things are changing at home and she also has to learn how to navigate her feelings with boys. Capricorns are known to be serious and disciplined, which Jo has to be if she wants to do well on the school paper. Next, on to Aquarius. So for Aquarius, I picked Uniquely You, an interactive Emmy and French journal by Terry Levinson. This journal is full of space to write and draw and also includes lots of activities featuring the characters of Emmy and Friends series. You can do these activities alone or with a friend and they're super fun because you can get as creative as you'd like and personalize it as much as you like. This journal is great for Aquarians because they're imaginative and original. They'll love exploring all that this journal has to offer. Last but not least, I have a book suggestion for Pisces. So for Pisces, I chose Class Act by Jerry Craft. This book is about Drew, who has always been told he needs to work twice as hard to be just as good as his privileged classmates at his private school. As Drew begins to realize that his good friend Liam is one of those privileged kids, Drew needs to figure out how to handle the divide between his classmates' experiences and his own. Class Act is great for Pisces because they're known for being sympathetic and wise. Plus, they're also known for being super artistic, and because this is a graphic novel, I think that the readers will really love this one. Okay, that's it for me. I hope you all found a book that matches your horoscope. If you don't know what your horoscope is, that's okay. You can go online and do some research and figure it out, or you can just read all of the books. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to read the one that's based on your horoscope if you thought you liked another one. There's no rules here. If you enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and like it and subscribe so that you don't miss another one. Um, I was I had so much fun talking with you guys today and can't wait to do it again. Bye.